Yes, I'm talking about potholes. Good evening, I'm Lee Jordan. We have gathered new details about damage claims from the potholes that littered Cleveland's roads earlier this year. News Channel 5's Kristen Volk is live tonight. Kristen, how many of those claims did the city pay out? Only 8% so far this Lee, so far this year, Lee, and compare that to the number of pothole claims denied so far this year, that percentage is nearly 50%. One of those denied is Strongsville resident Liz Nowak. I've got the letter right here. She just learned that she won't be getting reimbursed for the $750 she paid to get her car repaired after hitting a massive pothole. It was a very, very loud noise. It went like a made a real loud noise and it automatically I knew what happened. It was a Friday morning in March when Liz Nowak says she got stuck in this seven inch deep pothole, which is now patched over at Warren and Westland. It flattened the tire and then it um, did the wheel bearing. It broke the wheel bearing. Plus the impact threw her car out of alignment. And I knew right then and there, that was it. The damage was so expensive, and Nowak was so frustrated that she filed this claim to the city of Cleveland, asking that the city reimburse her for the repairs. Fast forward six months later, this is the response she gets. The city denied her request for reimbursement because they say they didn't cause the pothole and had no knowledge of it prior to Nowak's incident. I was mad and disappointed. Um, I think that I kind of was hoping in the back of mind that Cleveland would step up to admitting that they had some problems and maybe even pay a portion of it, but nothing. So far, the city paid nothing to hundreds of other people, too. Out of 1,085 total pothole claims to date, Cleveland says it has denied 535 claims. It's approved just 93. We're screwing the average Cleveland. I mean, we knew we had a serious pothole problem in the city of Cleveland. Cleveland City Councilman Zach Reed says he's trying to revamp the pothole claims process. Council could easily step up to the plate and say to the administration to give these people added relief. But revamping it is a group effort, something that requires buy-in from Reed's fellow council members. So far, that hasn't happened. In this rejection letter, the city says there is no appeals process for denied claims. It does say that people can pursue more action in small claims court, but when I spoke to NOAC today, she says she has no interest in that. On your side in Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.